Nick with perfect picket here. Heading off at uh, 7.20 in the morning. We do not uh, delay when uh, it comes to meeting your schedule for a consultation. So I uh, am off to a consultation right now in Evansdale, Iowa. Uh, homeowner said he had just purchased the home uh, and is looking for chain link around part of his yard to be able to keep his dogs in and then some privacy kind of along his patio area or possibly even um, along like a back alley he was describing on the phone. It's always interesting hearing, you know, a homeowner describe it on the phone and me visualizing what they're saying, but then seeing it in person. Um, I'm sure I'm the same way when I call a plumber, you know, oh, the, bed, the pipe bends this way and that way. But uh, this is why it's so important to see what the yard actually looks like and then be able to understand the homeowner's pain point as far as like this is why they're calling for a fence and provide them the best solution. Uh, the side along his patio and, and kind of alley area, he had suggested or requested vinyl quote, which is fantastic. We do vinyl all the time. A lot of times though, me as the fence contractor here, when I hear somebody say, hey, I want a vinyl quote, usually that's synonymous with I want privacy that I don't have to take care of in the future and isn't gonna get old and ugly looking like wood. Ugh. And so I totally agree. If I had a fence up in my yard that was just an old wood fence that got gray and then started to rot at the post because the contractor decided to use four by four posts because they were cheaper. And ultimately you got a fence for 10 years and then that fence is not great. And so the reason I bring that up is typically when I go to any type of privacy request uh, consultation, I always bring up our Western Red Cedar, not because, you know, Perfect Picket is in our name, you know, we love pickets, but it is just a high quality, long lasting fence. And uh, I think that most homeowners don't realize the price is actually more obtainable for a Western Red Cedar pre-stained fence with steel posts that are hidden, so you can't tell. It looks like a four by four, but it's a steel post. And so that fence will last 30 years with a maintenance staining plan, look 10 times better than a big piece of plastic in your yard and uh, provide just as much privacy, if not more than that vinyl fence. So, plus they're so much more customizable and you can adjust the slope so much easier with a, with a wooden fence versus a vinyl fence. Um, and then even with the gates, you know, a lot of times homeowners will say, well, I, I don't want the gate to, to, to droop. Yeah, we neither do we. So we actually install a stronger post for the gates. The posts are already commercial grade galvanized pipe. That's the biggest like focus point of a fence is the gate. I mean, you could have a, a fence that is 99% perfect and then the 1% that's not is the gate and that homeowner only experiences the gate. Terrible fence. And so what we end up doing is we use a larger steel post and then we build a metal frame for that wooden gate. And so we've got our standard wooden uh, fence gate has a metal frame, it's galvanized, and then we also allow for an upgrade option if the homeowner says, ah, you know, I want the, the gate not only to be strong, but I really want it to be just the best looking gate in town. Then we also offer a square tubing option that's powder coated. And, you know, in both options, the strength is exactly the same. Um, the hinges get upgraded when we do the other gate. But, you know, the reason I'm talking about all of this is most homeowners, don't really want vinyl. They do, but it's the maintenance issue that they don't want to deal with. And it's the um, concern that if they get wood, it's going to look ugly, gray, after it ages and a year in the sun, it's going to warp. All of that can be completely eliminated with using cedar, using steel posts and staining that fence. And it's just better for the long term and uh, for resale value, curb appeal. So we're gonna pull up to this house, take a look, see what the real situation is. I could be totally off base with what I'm thinking, uh, but that's typically what we encounter when we go to a, a privacy consultation. 
those are the pain points and that's what the homeowner is looking for. So we'll see what the, uh, the walkthrough video kind of shows what this homeowner is looking at. Um, we would be doing a multi-material uh, installation here. We'd be looking at four foot black chain link as well as eight foot white vinyl. I'm also gonna send a quote for six foot tall vinyl uh, just so he could see the difference, but um, makes a big jump when you go from six to eight, but uh, it is still, you know, it's vinyl. So it's a great fence. The <clears throat> initial part, we would be doing a four foot black chain link fence across this uh, concrete pad here, it goes between his garage and his house. It would be a single five foot walking gate. The plate, we'll use plated posts for this because he said he's going to replace this entire concrete slab within the next five years. And so plated posts are strong enough um, for sure. And uh, they will be easier to take out than if we did a core drill for this particular property, maybe after um, the core drill can get done. But uh, then we will be doing a four foot black chain link on this side, starting at the corner of the house. Now there's a pretty good slope on this and we had decided either coming on this way or this way. My suggestion is coming off along the gutter and then back that way, this next fence line along the side is on level ground all the way versus making it a drop, needing a relief post and then continuing on. And so from the house down in line with the neighbor's fence down there and then straight back. And this property in particular, um, we don't know the exact location of the property pins. And it is kind of hard in this back line here to determine where the exact part is. So we will use our uh, metal locator or magnetic detector and um, be able to um, find those exact property pins. 16 feet from this corner, there's a 10 foot double drive walking gate. And then right here, we transition to our eight foot white vinyl. We'd be coming straight down towards the back corner here. And the one thing I should point out going from six foot vinyl to eight foot vinyl, the wind load becomes significantly more. So we actually increase the strength of our galvanized steel posts that we drive into the ground from a two inch post to a two and three eighths. Um, they're also commercial grade schedule 20. So it's not like this 17 or 16. This looks like really low gauge uh, or weak gauge, but we use, um, it's a commercial grade strength and steel post. Then we would be going down this direction with the white vinyl fence. So we're cornering right here, not doing anything to this neighbor's back fence. This fence section though, we are quoting, taking all of it out uh, and then seeing how um, him and his home, the neighbor want to kind of work with potentially covering the cost together or just the, the homeowner we're, we're here quoting, paying for the entire process. So that's an interesting thing to, it, it does happen where the homeowner will pay for taking this out. Coming straight down with our vinyl after the removal. And the fence actually continues past this area, but we would remove all of this. And then I'm gonna hold the phone up and over. And it continues, I believe another 28 feet where uh, we would possibly remove. We would continue running this eight foot vinyl straight down to where the existing fence is down there, or ends rather. And there would be a six foot tall junction going from the eight foot uh, fence over to the garage to enclose the backyard. We would do that at whatever interval is closest to this corner where there's a post. We would router that post on site. So it would be an eight foot tall post we'd router it so that a six foot could merge right into it and look like it was CNC machined and intended to do that. So just got done with the fence consultation here. <clears throat> Took about 40 minutes to walk through that yard. Um, and he had a lot of uh, detail that we wanted to talk about. Interesting things with that yard. Um, homeowner was very set on eight foot tall white privacy vinyl. That's very, strong product. I mean, we, when it goes from six foot vinyl though, to eight foot vinyl, the material's obviously the same, but the way we have to construct it 
is different to allow for it to sustain the wind loads that eight foot adds. I mean, the, ta the higher you get, the more that wind actually hits you, not only the surface area that uh, that whole fence takes up. And so when we drive our post, we'll actually use a thicker, wider post than if we did a six foot tall fence, uh, just to make sure that, hey, when we put that fence in, it's meant to last. It's not meant to wobble and break, you know? He wanted to split that that yard from, you know, four foot black chain link on one side, which made a lot of sense, and then eight foot vinyl on the back. And the reason he wanted the vinyl is his deck is, is so much higher than everyone else. It, him sitting on the deck with a six foot fence, I mean, they're still gonna be on display to all their neighbors. I had a similar situation in my house where I put up a seven, seven and a half foot fence along my patio for that exact reason. And uh, the last thing that, you know, his, his was a perfect example of, he really wanted vinyl. He didn't really want wood. It, you know, some people just really like vinyl and hey, we do vinyl, so I'm. it's a strong product. So uh, we'll quote that out for him, but we're also doing the plated posts across his kind of walking path between the garage and the house. It'll, it'll be plenty strong. He wants to replace that concrete within the next five years. So it, that is definitely a situation where I don't even want to talk about doing a core drill. It is a plated post. Yeah, I'll send this quote off to, uh, to the homeowner and there's a big difference in cost between going from six to eight in vinyl. Um, it's not just a, you know, a two feet more worth of expense. It's all the components that you don't see end up increasing not only in quantity, but in strength. And so, you know, increase in material cost pretty much alone. Uh, but with that said, eight foot makes sense on that property and uh, we'll see how it turns out.